We've got to get to the other side of Losers Quarterfinals while y'all get to donating. Get to see who is the uh, eventual player of MIDI. It is going to be uh, the Gaming Lucario up against Base Mage, still on this exclusively Ivy Sword. Okay. Well, so you should be pretty happy here, right? I mean, they got Lucario on screen. That means good character. You can talk about all the things that Lucario can't do. Um, I don't know how to watch. I would say um, Lucario into Pokemon Trainer is not all that bad. Uh, in fact, uh, Lucario has really solid lows, so contesting Squirtle isn't necessarily a problem. And his mobility, uh, plus the fact that stocks generally go longer against the floatier, more spacing oriented Ivysaur, what the trouble becomes is Charizard. But if you simply don't see Charizard, then. Uh, you're feeling pretty all right. Hey, right, fair enough. You won't be dying. So if you're living as Lucario, you are getting plenty of aura. And look at this, that, that aura sphere looking bigger than Ivy's or not to mention the force palm. But you know what? One little grab. And that's all you need sometimes to go ahead and seal out that stock. So we got to see them come out a little bit earlier at this point. Otherwise, it might start becoming a problem for base mage here. So many of these grabs. It just starts off so much damage very quickly, and it's the way, main way that uh, the Ivysaur can threaten stocks a lot of time with down throws into platform setups, or more devastatingly into these vine whips. And you can already see, I mean, just holding that center, getting caught a little bit, but otherwise, I mean, this is pretty good for base mage. Another up air is going to seal out yet another stock of. Lucario's Lucario, um, and now it's just kind of like, well, will we see one stock get taken? The Aura Spear is not enough, but I mean, we got comeback mechanics. There we go. Another Aura Spear will do it, and I'm, I'm never willing to count Lucario out ever. So, could still happen. He's just mm -hmm. TGL's just not disguising his mobility a ton. Like part of what makes Lucario difficult. Oh, okay, I mean, you also got those with Ivysaur. Um, <laughs> Part of what makes Lucario difficult to play is the fact that you're using a lot of empty movement and the idea of negative and positive space to maintain a solid threat with your uh, with Aura Sphere, as well as just consuming a lot of space very quickly with Lucario's like top ten air acceleration and generally good air speed and uh, movement mix-ups. But if you're not really disguising your intentions at all with any sort of dash dancing or B reverse movement, if you're not doing a lot of that, then it means your opponent just gets to run up on you and you start to feel your kind of slow, how slow Nair is or how like uh, up uh, forward air rises instead of lands. So you're not hitting as low as you want to sometimes. Like these little interesting intricacies that are like, mm, I really wish that it wasn't always like that. It, because your opponent is just getting your face and not afraid of you at all. I see. Put the fear of Lucario, uh, Lucario, the aura god into them. Mr. Anubis himself, so that if they fear death, it kind of covers up some of the weaknesses a little bit. I, I like it. Kind of the same idea if you're playing a heavy where you put the fear into them and all of a sudden they could start making mistakes and once they slip up, you blow them out of the water. But hold up, Basie! The ringing out the Jigglypuff. Maybe, hit, maybe he hit the goal on stream. Maybe that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. Now, you've done your prerequisite amount of games as... Uh as Ivysaur, now it's now it's back to the puff. Now he will try. Now might he be for will charity. try. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm gonna win it. That's, uh, that's, that's how it goes, man. What a what a classic O Korean DJ. Anyway, oh. uh -oh. see you, base mage. I guess. Yeah, just had a <laughs> early Bye. flight in the morning to catch, and so just you know, had to let one rip. But I mean, we are all familiar with the base mage jigs. Like we're just getting Pokemon battle after Pokemon battle. I love to see it. it. Takes me back to like OU circa like 2013. This is what I missed. Yeah, I remember the days of Ivysaur, Jigglypuff, and Lucario being meta. 
<laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe just Lucario. But... <laughs> Hey, Jigglypuff will make a comeback. <laughs> Let me tell you, Hungrybox will push the meta. I mean, if there's anyone putting Puff on the map, I mean, there was, that, of course, Base Mage is one of the main repertoires, and there was that, uh, mm -hmm. the Puff player not too long ago defeating Akola, at, you know, at a weekly, but hey, Puff, Puff is certainly dub. just one of those characters. Dub's a dub. Base Mage mm -hmm. is dash attacking. <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> oh my gosh, parrying on that uh on that pound. I'm gonna tell you right now, I ain't trying to shield anywhere near that move, but Gaming Lucario built a little different here. Base mage looking for a little bit something oh! but that fourth. Oh the rollout baby! The online special gonna get you caught up and take a stock. Nothing like a nope. good jump scare to keep you humble. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Big down smash there for TGL. I'm Pretty sure once you get to a... so how Lucario's aura functions is the um, at 65% aura starts to scale positively, so your damage actually ends up mattering at this point, and you only need to get to around 70 or 80 to start threatening Jigglypuff stocks at around 60. And we're we're really in that range where it's gonna take a uh, base mage just a little bit longer to close out that stock assuming they can find an edge guard not gonna go for it instead waiting for the on stage read the force bomb flame uh covering the spot dodge Ooh, another off stage situation here all right back to the center of the stage sitting with so much rage on you just got to get your hands on that balloon and getting close to so that aura spirit manages to connect we're going to keep chucking these giant shiku hadokens look at that shield damage as well just rolling right in and you know what i'm going to roll when you roll so that i can be behind you when you try to be behind me and then i'm going to kill you for it is how that one goes hey look you win in rock paper scissors if you both throw scissors but you throw second Damn, Catches him off guard, all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> rock go wild. Rock go dummy. Just standing, <laughs> standing there with the dash back forward smash, covering the covering the roll and finishing off uh, game number two on FD against the puff. Uh, all right, you know I'm here for chaos. Let's see, let's see what happens. <laughs> hey, he came in. He sees the Jigglypuff. He's like, ah, normal type. I'm fighting. Base Mage is like, nah, nah, nah. Hey, hold up, hold up. Normal fairy. fairy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, hey, I'm fairy now. And then he's like, yeah. Lucario steal. You forgot. And that's where the F Smash came in. It was just the double jab bait. He was ready to go, ready to rock his world. And uh, you know what? You got to be feeling good if you just took a game off the top seat. And they pulled out Pup on you. Yeah, it's no no sign of any uh, sandbagging here. It's that mm -hmm. was the legit the legit character. Yeah, I don't know uh, what else to really say on that one. I mean, things kind of the, the online spear really can make some interactions seem so ridiculous. You know, like <laughs> it really <laughs> is like that worked, but it's like, yeah, well, of course that works. And I mean, not to say that certain things don't work on land because we've seen some of these strategies work on land before, but it's always just a little bit like, dang, bro, you really, uh, you really did that, huh? You really did that. It's like E Honda just doing headbutt 10 times in a row. <laughs> yeah, like, but the 10 hey, time, I'm going to keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to burn you out and then chip you out. <laughs> it's like, please, I let mean, me breathe. I mean, Mena, Mena RD, despite how amazing he is, he did win CEO by Without blocking. Mashing out, with Blanca mashing out of the corner. So, you know. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, you know what they say. If it works, it works, but you know what might be doing work tonight? Not the Lucario, but somebody else with a uh, different aura about him, the Sephiroth coming through. And uh, once again, we're back to Ivy. I mean, the Ivy worked better off than the Puff, and despite, I, I, it might have been stage dependent why we saw the Jigglypuff wanting for, uh, Final Destination as just this generally good puff stage you control airspace so well but when you have access to uh, ivy store on smashville you get a nice pivot going but you're still getting hit by dash track forward smash it's 
it's big. <laughs> it is big. I mean, granted, you know, Lucario. Oh, man. Yeah, Sephiroth be light, though. Do be light. And if you're that light, you're going to get tossed around like a rag doll. Ace Mage lighting up with first stock. And now look at this. Looking for the Nairs and hold up. Pop you off the bottom here. Let's take a trade. You don't get a choice in the matter, neither. I love it. I love stocks like that where it's like, hey, I've got a stock lead. I've got everything to burn here. So as long as you lose your stock with me, I get to go as far as I want. Base Mage recognizing and pushing every single opening. That fair is going to stop that early momentum. But man, are they hunting for the big swing. Yeah, Base Mage is in them cheeks right now. When I was like, wow, what happened? What happened? The Sephiroth is not able to get things done. But I think Sephiroth is just such a hard character, I think, to use effectively online. You know, a character that requires very immaculate movement and spacing. So, like, if you're even the littlest bit off, it can make the largest difference in terms of the way an interaction goes. And you can couple that with lag and uh you know a character that i won't say ivysaur is hard to hit but you know you still got to angle your moves a little bit against that character and so i don't know that was just uh that was kind of rough to watch the other thing is the latest stock we saw was a hundred percent and as sephiroth your wing condition is that little wing that you get he got wing once and then died at 60 and then died at 65 like you can't be dying that early if you're playing a character that your win condition comes out at around a hundred that is a problem and muta not muta space mage had full understanding of it and how to optimally take those stocks as fast and as early as possible but you know what we got the pup coming back folks I mean, if we're looking for early stocks here, Puff has got some pretty damn devious edge guarding flow charts. These are just grounded pounds, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> it's that right no here. jump challenge. Right. We did see two rollout kills, by the way. So base mage certainly hunting for a little bit of content here, but that's a back throw into back air. Here's that wing online at that nice fresh 80% looking for all right here but the octa slash not gonna get the scoop the scintilla covering for the uh, tgl relatively even game here ever since that wing came out but now you've got uh, just such a, a nice big sword that's a punch okay i'll take it i don't know what the what the ultimate mm -hmm. punch there i don't know if up smash out of shield ko's there top rock you be kind of light either way dash attack will do it base is looking pretty good oh snap yeah that <laughs> That down smash is really, wow, that KO'd. I mean, I guess it is Puff, but still, I don't know. It was so slow that I thought that she might survive, but that's why, uh, that's why I talk about the game, you know? <laughs> I'm with you, that though, Twimbo. Like, I thought yeah. the sour spot was not going to close out the stock there, but, I mean, here we are. Yeah, we got to keep it just simple. Uh, light floaty character go boom when he did get hit. Yeah. I mean, look, 92, almost died at 60. Lots of okay. respect being paid for base mage at the ledge here. Oh, there's the one hit though, but saving the jump. Very nice from TGL, but the jump from ledge trying to burn that jump they saved a little bit early and okay, dash back. <laughs> it is big. <laughs> I love it. I love it. No, oh this this is this is gaming. This is content. Oh, he tried to snap in his face. Ooh, hold yeah. up, we get in some ultimate now. Look at that pound of four there. Love that conversion. I don't know how often I've seen grounded pound to begin with, much less a conversion off of it. But now, reverse on that up B. Not able to find the punish. And ooh, you got to be a little bit more careful where you're swinging, Basie. Because let me tell you, that counter, it ain't just hexagons. It'd be a slaughter fest when it gets hit. There is some tomfoolery going on here. I've not seen Base Mage press the neutral air button. Yeah, now that you mention it, yeah, e even on these ledge traps, we actually see. Oh, he hey, yo! The balloon, the balloon got popped! The balloon got popped! The balloon got popped!
but that that has to be like a pivotal part of the matchup, right? Like, there's no way. Like, Sephiroth has like that shield break set up on like everybody, right? Yeah. And so against like the only character in the game where that actually just means you die, like they don't even have to figure out the shield break punish. They just say like, you pop, you die. Has to be something you're looking out for. That's a suck if you're base mage though. That must be so tilting. I don't think I could like. This is why I could never play Puff. I, I could never play Puff just <laughs> for that alone. That losing a stock like that when every other character doesn't have to deal with that is like it's too much it's too much i think the nice thing is sephiroth is one of the few characters that i can think of off the top of my head where if you get shield break you should die at zero unless the sephiroth forgot what the b button is that you should die at zero and so thankfully i think you just take it as like you know what normally that's a puff bull crappery like bro hit me with dk side b on shield and i just happen to die but this time around you take a breather it's like ah, it's my counter pick now we'll take this and maybe we'll see the ivy zor again who knows this has been the weirdest five game set <laughs> like, i'm base. glad you said five game because if you just said set I was going to be like, hey, hey, hey. You forget about Chowder, though. <laughs> <laughs> my goat, my goat. <laughs> my goat for real. My goatington. Oh, we're back to the. <laughs> okay, so the Sephiroth got the game FD twice over. Uh, Base Mage has lost two games with Puff, uh, the, the characters they've top 16 to majors with. So, uh, you know, <laughs> but this is happening. <laughs> Well, so, uh, <laughs> busted, huh? <laughs> All right, base mage coming through, and you know what? This Ivy Zord started off pretty nasty right out of the gate. Full stock, but if you're Lucario, that just means some aura, baby. Now, gotta hold some up airs prepping to make the comeback. That is the game plan here for gaming Lucario. Coming in with the Nair, and, uh, ooh. Go to ledge, barely avoiding the downer. That move is gigantic, but living it nonetheless. Yeah, it looked a little bit late there. Um, E-speed goes faster because by the nature of having to travel more distance when you have a lot of aura like this. So you do have to adjust your timing a little bit, not to mention the distance it can travel, creating some good mix-ups. Uh, we'll just get to see if, I mean, if TGL gets to play the game. He's been in disadvantage for most of it with the... With the a couple of scrambles and stray hits leading to a ton of damage. Oh, clean red ledge grab there from base mage. Getting away from the potential aura sphere, and you get the stock with the down throw. Dang. All right. So, looking pretty tough. But uh, once again, you know, I will never bet against uh, a Lucario on the last stock with, uh, you know, as, as long as you have a stock, you're in the game to me as Lucario. There's one, that's what I'm talking about. Show me what that dog do. Mm -hmm. Forgot the memo that it's only Ivysaur tonight getting a little bit too aggressive and getting caught up, but all the same, starting off with the nice little dash attack. These down airs out of shield too, using the down air to cancel that jump and just dish out a little bit of damage. Pretty nice so far. All right, boom, fair, nice quick move to catch jumps Whoa. too. I like the idea of oh. countering the Razor Leaf, but you're not even going to get back to stage. Base Mage was tired of trying to time the down air at ledge. I'm, instead, you can just go out right, <laughs> right into the flight path. Lucario's uh, extreme speed only has a hitbox at the very end, so there is nothing threatening you from just going out into that drop zone and pressing whatever button you want. 